What's up, YouTube? Still excited, and we're back with another training day, training camp day recap. Actually, night recap. This is Friday Night Lights. So we'll get into this. As I told you, we've been working on some name plates. Uh, we had a very good day, just not as good as past days. Uh, my oldest son wasn't able to go with me, so wasn't able to get as much as we usually get. Uh, and I had my young kids with me, so had to watch them. So it was a little harder for me, but I'm still able to get some quality pieces. We'll get into it. Uh, started the day off with John Cobb. Got two of these personalized pitchers. He was personalizing the pitchers, at least for for me anyway. And the mini helmet got him on that mini helmet and he signed it on the back side uh, gave my kids the mini helmet I think he did it just because he knew it was for me probably so he kind of signed it on the back side even though I don't plan on selling it just that never had it I didn't have him on a mini helmet I was gonna add him on a mini helmet Signed the back side can't complain with a free Cobb autograph but wish it had been on the front so still unsure what I'm gonna do with that Guess I'll just leave it alone. I might add somebody else to the other side. I'm not sure. Drop it in the comments what you think I should do with that. It just sucks displaying it that way, if you know what I mean when you display them. Uh, then we got into, oh, we got into uh, Moats. Moats was uh, cool. He said, Do you want me to, you know, what's your name? And I'll personalize it. So I gave him my name. But he would he was willing to do it without the name. But I figured I'd just get it personalized. It's pretty cool. Like Moats. Real awesome guy. Uh, and I got him on his nameplate. He really liked that. Said so I made him feel special bringing a nameplate up to him. So he's a cool, very cool guy. If you met Arthur Moats, one of my favorite Steelers, and he just recently recently retired a Steeler. So that's you know great for him to retire a Steeler. He's a great guy for the Steelers, Steeler Nation fan base for sure. And then we'll get into Friday Night Lights. Was able to get Marquise Pouncey two days in a row. And he laid a nice one on this game used jersey that I just acquired. Very nice signature on there. Happy with the way that came out. So I got Pouncey on the game used jersey. And then we got him on the game used nameplate. Black a little hard on that salute to service one there, but it still looks pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. He was kind of running with a black sharpie as most of them do especially the bigger names and we got pouncy on his 8x10 very nice day three marquise pouncies and then got him the day before so starting off camp with four pouncies is always a good thing then we were able to snag the castro on this mini helmet i did have a nameplate for him but i just didn't have time to dig through the bag i had like 30 nameplates in my bag i just hurried up and got him on this mini helmet and kept it moving i was trying to get bent and as you can see unsuccessful that day uh and we got got nix rosy nix and he laid a ghost dealer's inscription on the one side of this game used jersey and signed it on the other uh pink pen it was uh misting a little bit of rain a little sprinkle and I think that pink pen got a little smudged on the name, which sucks, but it still came out pretty nice. And he put that Ghost Dealer's inscription on it without me asking, so very nice piece. So that's my Friday Night Lights recap. Not as good as past ones, as you guys well know. I was able to get a bunch of bins one time. But I'll take this any day. I was able to get knock out two game used jerseys, two game used name plates, and mini helmets. So it was a very good day. Oh, and I forgot. I put it back. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it out. I put it back. I have. Uh, I put John Cobb on my full size Steelers Legends helmet. Um, of all the 70s players so if you have seen i'm sure you've, if you follow my channel you've seen that helmet get signed many a times added him to the back of that so that was the main reason going the early thing to get cobb on that 
full size helmet. And he laid down the uh, SB champs. He put down every Super Bowl, laid down a nice signature on that. So I'm happy with the way that turned out. So I did forget to add that in the video. I apologize. It's already put away. Uh, but that's all I got for you, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did on Friday Night Lights. And I wasted four minutes on Benny Snell. Uh, guy is not a good signer. Not a happy guy. <laughs> well, I mean, not that he's not happy. He's just kind of odd the way he signs. He bounces around. He doesn't sign much. He'll pick and choose. He'll sign one. And then he'll walk around. And then he'll pick another and sign it. And then he'll walk around, pick another and sign it. And he even walked away, stood under the goalpost for a couple minutes before the buzzer even sound. And once he did that, I just walked away and tried to get other people, but it was already too late. So I wasted prime real estate on Benny Snell that I'll never do again. But that's my lesson learned for the night. Uh, let me know your stories. I'm interested to hear. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have a good one, Stellar Nation.